All right, so we're trying something extremely different tonight. And while I'm waiting on my son, Hayden at the orthodontist, uh, we're going to try to do a video devotional from here, um, which I will upload later, which you, if you're watching it now, you're you're watching it later. So I forgot my Bible, but I've got the Bible app on my phone, which is cool, but I can't record video and look at the Bible app at the same time. A little going to the Bible app will cut it off, but I learned just now that I can read off my watch. So Romans 5, 3 through 5 is our passage tonight. I just keep coming back to this idea for today. And it says this, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. We can rejoice when we run into problems and trials. We're running into problems and trials with the pandemic. Uh, we can't do what we want to do. We can't go where we want to go. We can't be with who we want to be with. And honestly, it's, there's a little piece of us that if we were confessional today, we would say is just there's a little piece of us that's that's dead. It's dying. It, it's it's atrophying. It's shrinking. It, it's uh, it needs help. But. Paul says in Romans, we can rejoice when we run into these things, not because that's so great, not because trials are fun, but because of what they do. Um, you may remember this from a sermon a couple weeks ago, but he says that trials help us develop endurance. We need to develop endurance. Uh, There's a couple a couple years ago, uh, a group of my friends and I, we ran, and, and my daughter, uh, we ran this thing called a, a Spartan race, and it's an obstacle race. And uh, we did the super length, which means it's anywhere from, from five to eight miles long. You don't know. And it's uh, 30 to 35 different obstacles all along the way. And it's not a picnic. It is, <laughs> it's not easy. Um, I feel like I've always been somewhat athletic for most of my life, but this was a challenge. And Getting ready for that race uh, with guys like Sean Jackson, uh, Linda Price ran that with us. Uh, my friend David Page came over from Tennessee and, and Emily um, and a couple other people. I'm blanking out right now, but we you had to work out before you could be ready for the race. And if we didn't, we would have been toast. And a lot of times what God does through challenging times uh, that we're going through is he's getting us ready for the next chapter and we I don't like it I can't stand it when when something's not working out when when disappointment comes when when people don't respond the way that we wish that they would um, it hurts more than anything but we need to look at it through the lens of how is God shaping me not not God is bringing all these bad things into my life not, um, you know, God must not love me or else these wouldn't be happening. But he, he's using these these moments. He can use these moments uh, to shape your faith and to develop endurance. If you don't have endurance, you don't last long. And I think through all of this, we're going to see, uh, I'm hoping that we see people's faith become stronger because God is just shaping them and and bringing, just developing their own spiritual endurance. Uh, we know it's not easy. We know it's not fun, uh, but we know that it's what we need sometimes. And um, for all of us right now, we're all going through the exact same thing. Uh, many of us in, in different ways and different levels, uh, but we're all having our endurance developed. What else does he say? Endurance develops strength of character. So, what to me, what that means is God is growing that part of us that no one else sees. Uh, I don't know who said it. I, I want to say it's um, Spurgeon or Chesterson or so, somebody said uh, character is who you are uh, in the dark. Uh, what that means is that your, your character is who you are in private when, when no one's watching. Um, 
characters is who you really are. And Paul is saying that the endurance that God is developing in us develops a strengthened character. Um, I would tell you, God has worked on me in this, and he has, he has helped me grow uh, with the ability to say yes to his will instead of uh, no to his will and yes to sin. Um, I'm not going to tell you I'm perfect. I, I'm not. Uh, but I can see where he has used uh, teachings. He has used sermons. But most of all, he's used some great Christian friends uh, to help me uh, grow in the different areas that I need to grow in in my faith. And uh, I'm confident that's what he wants to do for you, too. So we have this endurance that's being developed. We're having our our character strengthened uh, so that that inner part of us that uh, is to reflect the heart of Christ, we're having that get stronger because of the work that the Holy Spirit is doing in our life. And, and when our character gets stronger, we have more confident hope of salvation. Um, I don't know about you, but these last weeks or months uh, that everything's been going on, uh, there's been a lot of times that come that I think, my goodness, is this ever going to end? Um, will we ever go back to normal? And all the questions that everybody's asking, um, how does this get? How will this get any better without, you know, some major miracle? And I'm also finding that I'm looking more and more forward to what God is going to do uh, through his, his family, through his church, through the kingdom, um, because people are looking for hope. And as our endurance is developed, as the strength of our character uh, is growing, so does the confidence of our hope in Jesus. It doesn't, it doesn't mean we don't have questions. It doesn't mean we don't have more to learn. It means that that part of us that is anticipating God returning uh, in the form of Jesus, that, um, that we are anticipating that, that one day rule, uh, that we can have that confident hope now uh, because of this other work that he's doing in us. And he says this in, uh, in the last part, and this hope, that confident hope of salvation, and that's not just salvation for me, that's not just salvation for my family, uh, that's salvation for many who God is drawing to himself. Uh, I believe that God has people's attention now like maybe he hasn't had in a long time. And this is a, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to be faithful in reaching out to people and in uh, sharing what God has done in our life, being honest, being vulnerable, um, and just sharing literally the good news of Jesus that they can be saved because our confidence is growing because of the work God is doing in us, then we can then offer that hope to other people. And he says that hope of salvation will not lead to disappointment. That doesn't mean everything's always going to go your way. That doesn't mean everything's always up and to the right. Um, that doesn't mean you'll never fail. Uh, of course not. It just means that ultimately that, that confident hope is going to be rewarded when we see Jesus come back or when we, <laughs> if it's a long time from now, then uh, when we come back with him, right? And the last sentence says this, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. You know, I'm so glad that Jesus didn't just ascend to heaven and say, you know, you, you've got the Ten Commandments and you've got these parables that I taught you. Um, I, I, I hope you get it right. <laughs> Instead, uh, he is present with his people in the person of the Holy Spirit. So I, I love that it's not just some set of rules. It's not some, some standards. It's the Holy Spirit is a person, and I think a, a lot of times people will will misinterpret that voice um, in their head as maybe their their conscience, you know, kind of like that. Um, oh, what is it, Jiminy Cricket from uh, from the movie or the story Pinocchio? You know, the little cricket that's uh, showing showing up in the story, you know, trying to trying to steer Pinocchio uh, away from. Um, 
from the boys that are smoking cigars and you know and and doing all the things that he knows he's not supposed to do and uh, it, it can be that um, but more and more uh, I see the Holy Spirit doing exactly what our verse from Romans 5 3 through 5 says tonight and that is he's giving us the ability to endure and when that endurance begins to grow, then the strength of our character begins to grow. Uh, we trust ourselves more when we're by ourselves. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm if i on a diet uh, and I'm saying no to sugar, which I'm not sure why anybody would do that, but some, some people are, um, I have the power to say uh, yes to something else that's not sugar, right? Like yes to maybe like a, a piece of real fruit uh, or, or some, something else uh, that will... Uh, get us through that moment um, and able to say yes in whatever form of temptation. I'm not sure why I thought of that one. Maybe because God is convicting me of <laughs> sugar. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, we, we find our, our the strength of our character being developed. And as that is developing, it just to me, I, I just keep seeing this thing. As, he's, he's just stacking it. He's just growing us. Uh, when our character is being strengthened, then also our hope is being strengthened. And it's, it's the hope of salvation, uh, not only for ourselves, but for other people. So that's what I have for you tonight. And I hope that you find all these things at work in your life. And if you don't, uh, message me. Let's, let's talk and let's, let's pray about it together. See you.